Good day, ladies and gents, and welcome back to DCS World with Mags, and welcome back aboard the FA-18C Hornet for, well, a rather different mission today. Now, I did try and come up with some kind of bullshit briefing to try and make all of this plausible, but it's just too ridiculous, but so much fun. This is the Star Wars mod pack. Now, there's actually quite a few credits to go through to actually cover everybody who was involved in making this thing, so I'm just going to put them in the video description down below, along with a link to the Discord server where this is hosted, the mod creator operates out of. That is, of course, the place to also go if you want to actually get a copy of the mod for yourself. Now, I'm also going to have to do this over a couple of videos because there is a hell of a lot to actually cover here. Pretty much most of the units inside of the pack are not only able to be placed and flown against, they're also flyable with their own cockpits. The Y-Wings, A-Wings, X-Wings, TIE Fighters, TIE Interceptors, TIE Hunters, uh, Corvettes, I believe the, I haven't tried it yet, but I believe the AT-ATs and the AT-STs can be driven internally as well. The Millennium Falcon's present and it has a cockpit and it's flyable and the cockpit is on the correct section of the aircraft. You're not flying it from the center, you're actually flying it from the right side. And it's all very, very fun. I mean, if you're a DCS purist, you're gonna hate this. But everybody else is gonna have an absolute ball. Anyways, on this particular mission, we are defending Las Vegas from an Imperial invasion. There is a Star Destroyer closing in, getting ready to attack the city. We're the lead aircraft in a four ship of F-18s attempting to defend the city. There is also four F-14s and four F-16s all trying to defend. The wave setup of this mission means there's anything between 16 and 20 TIE fighters up at any given time, although they can be over a fairly large area. The Star Destroyer in the background is fully functional with fully operating turbo laser batteries and it is a nasty piece of work to fly near. There's five waves in total and if you can clear the fourth wave, a flight of Viggins will spawn in to attack the Star Destroyer. If this sounds utterly ridiculous, it is, but I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I have been. Close. I love how slow these bloody things can get. And then they just accelerate to oblivion and you just can't catch them. Fox 2. Splash TIE Fighter. Alright, four 9Xs left. Oh, <laughs> needs bigger racks. I need triple racks for missiles. I need the ability to carry eight AMRAMs and eight tanks. It's like a bit of this. Four AMRAMs. Chattering is getting to be a little bit too much, so let's get your volumes down because I really don't need to hear what you're saying. I know what's happening. Alright, so I reckon that was. The fact that nobody's around here at the moment, I would say that is wave two clear. Wave three is coming up ahead. So, um, yet we are all set up to jettison the tanks, so let's get rid of the externals because I'm going to need that now. Safeties are set. Okay, so um, I know the first two rounds looked relatively easy, and that's pretty much because they were. The first two waves are set up to 
Oh, looks like the enemy has gotten themselves close enough to start triggering the SAM defenses around Nellis. Um, yeah, the first two waves are meant to be just swarmers, they're not particularly intelligent, but once you actually hit the third wave, I've got the AI turned up to a mix between sort of hard and elite, and the wave that comes after that, or all the waves that come after that, are all set to maximum. I love the fact that they've got a fully functional flying Star Destroyer that is in 1-1 one, one scale inside the DCS. It is freaking fantastic. You have to see whether or not I can land a helicopter on it at some point. But first... So this shows, uh, there it is, Fox 3, um, shows exactly how hard these things can manoeuvre and how fast they can actually fly. You notice we're only four nautical miles away from the target, but we weren't getting a flashing shoot order. And that's because the target wasn't necessarily in no escape range despite being that close. The TIE Fighters will do around 1,200 kilometers an hour at sea level, and they accelerate there at ridiculous speeds while still being able to pull like 30 G in maneuvers. They're nuts. I don't think that one's gonna hit. No, 1.41, nope, that's turned towards me. See the turn on it there, though. All the alpha that the Hornet has, and it's not even close to being enough to keep up with that thing. Fox 2. And I'm doing full hard energy turns here. I'm blowing everything that I've got, and I've got to dive away to get up speed. And he maneuvered away from that one. He survived it. Um, the TIE Fighters technically can be one-shot by almost any missile, but they maneuver that hard, they can actually pull themselves out of the explosion of a missile, so they may not take full damage from it, at least as far as I can tell. So occasionally, you've got to shoot them twice if you want to put them down. Cannons are bloody effective, but you've got to get them into cannon range for a start, and that's not easy. Alright, go the Tom Kitties. We've got two of them still alive. Not entirely sure our Hornet mate there is uh, going to last much longer though. Amran. Oh, and it makes a splash. Beautiful. Let's see if we can get this fighter. Nope, 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 nope. Off the hornet. Cool. Come on. What the hell did you move? you? Oh, there you are. I think that's you. Ah, oh, fuck it, you'll do. Splash, and that is a beautiful hit. Alright, we have one AIM-9X left, we have no AMRAMs left. So we got one shot, and then we are on cannons. You look like they're on the tail of one of our F-14s. Just... Come on, block. Shit, we lost 14. There we go, we've got the lock though. Splash. 
Nope. We turned the inside of it. So, last aim 9x was a miss. All we've got left is guns. There he is. That's all right, let's see. Where the? F oh shit! Okay, here we go. Gunfight with a Tie Fighter. It's hard to track these goddamn things because they can go in pretty much any direction. You can point them straight up and they ac accelerate away. They can just fly up to orbit. Oh, Scap a little bit more. He's still coming this way, I reckon. back of this mountain and see whether I can pop in and just close the gap to guns and get him into a position where I can nail his ass. Pretty sure that was a TIE Interceptor 2, not a TIE Fighter, so I think we swapped targets here. And that's not good because the Interceptors are even worse. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Still back there. give one thing to these things, they are great practice to try and maneuver against. If you can maneuver against a TIE Fighter and get it to overshoot and break off, then a MiG is just not going to be a challenge. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to unstick this guy, but I know where I'm going. That's what I wanted to see. How is he? Oh, shut up, computer. Sam's work at breaking him off. Let's see if we can spike his ass. Guns, get over, please. Shit. No, he crossed. No, it's not a problem, just. Back to the airfield.
God damn it. Shit, 1,700. That's alright, I'm right over the airfield. You're trying to run low. Alright, we're going to horn it to our rear, so we should be good. And he's running straight in the way. We're only just catching him, though. 3-7, 3-6, 3, seven, three, seven, three, six, three Nearly 250 shit <laughs> oh come on it was a handful of tomcats hornets and vipers fighting against the goddamn galactic empire in their spaceships you didn't really think this was going to be a victory did you we made it as far as round five this mission was structured as a bit of uh uh, a fun wave defense mission for multiplayer. I've just got all the multiplayer slots filled with AI for testing at the moment because only a handful of people actually have the mod that I know of and none of them were available to fly. So multiplayer action as soon as more people get access to the mod. And as I mentioned at the start, everything here is flyable. I'm going to take a couple of videos to actually cover all of this mod. I'm not sure who I'll cover next, but I do like flying as the Empire, so those TIE fighters are looking pretty tasty at this point. But until then, as mentioned at the start of the video, all of the links in regards to the mod are in the video description down below, as well as all of my links to my social media, my Discord, my Twitch, and so on. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, hope you had a shitload of fun, and until next time, take care.